Hello, my pretties. Back with another message for y'all. As usual, you guys know my um, website is theprettyoracle.com. Go up there, get you a spiritual bath, um, some candles and, and a bundle, okay? Invest in yourself, especially if you're going through um, some sort of spiritual warfare or you're looking to manifest something specific, okay? Somebody's upset because you're, because you're silent or somebody is feeling away because it seems like you're silent, okay? Or vice versa, all right? I feel like there may be a person here who is... Um, grieving over a death of a situation it could be a, a physical death or it could be um an end to a situation okay somebody could live near a bridge or an overpass okay somebody is uh um i, I heard people don't dance no more all they do is this Oh, they do with this. That song is very annoying, okay? Um, but I think I heard it because that may be a confirmation for somebody, but then also someone may also be from Georgia or someone may have been outcasted, okay? An outcast, all right? So that could be some, something that's making a person um, upset, all right? Somebody is suppressing something. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like, what is this? Yeah, somebody feels alone. This, this, I, I, okay. Show me, show me this breakthrough energy. What's that about? Show me that. Yeah, somebody is very upset. Like, there's a person here that is constantly watching because Crown and Aree, we have sunglasses, okay? So, somebody is watching, looking, stalking, okay? It's what I feel. Focusing out. Like, they could, this could be you or this is another person. It feels like this is another person that's focused on you. Somebody who you put their relationship to rest or whatever the case is. Um, this person is very, is focused on you and they're receiving clarity about something. Like, I don't know if it's like that you left them because you you figured out the relationship was karmic or they could have left you and now they focusing on you and they're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, that this shit is actually over. That's the death of the situation that I'm picking up that somebody is just like, damn. This person is like a ticking time bomb, okay? Let me warn you all right like they they're upset they're living moment to moment and they're trying to suppress some sort of sadness anger depression or whatever the case is but it feels like they about to explode or some shit like that show me the suppression please suppression Somebody could still be in a relationship with a person and suppressing the fact that they need to leave, okay? That could be another thing. You're in a relationship with somebody and you feel like, you know, you need to leave. Yeah, you see this energy of beyond illusion. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you feel like you need to leave because you're watching their movements and you feel like they're moving real weird or real wicked, like, you need to go, okay? Okay? You need to go. Somebody with this schizophrenia energy, somebody is kind of like bugging out. Like, you know what I mean? Um, we also have the energy of sabotage at the bottom of the deck. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. But I feel like if this is a person that's an that's ex of yours or something like that that's watching you, like they, they're trying to sabotage you or um, I do get an energy of a person who, let me see this. Let me see this hammer energy. Clarify the hammer energy, please. Somebody trying to sabotage another person's dreams, goals, and aspirations. This could be that hating ass ex energy. Yeah, with the go with the flow. It's like they're 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 watching and looking because they want to see like if you're gonna do something new or if you mention something. Listen, let me tell you something. Choose your words wisely, especially on social media. Choose your words wisely. I tell y'all before. Um, I just said this on my live yesterday. I did a live yesterday. What's today? Today's Saturday. The, the 6th or the 7th, right? Let me see. Let me check my phone. It's the 6th, okay? Today's Saturday the 6th. Now, I just said, like, sometimes, you know, people could be monitoring you or, you know, they could send monitoring spirits to your home or something like that. This person is stalking you, all right? And it feels like physically and maybe spiritually. But anyway, like I said, you know, it could even be people in your life that they send it to monitor you, whichever way, okay? Somebody asked me how I'm doing. Oh, uh, hanging in there. One day at a time, okay? 
be careful about what you're saying about your 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 forward movement and stuff like that. They're also telling me that this, this person ain't got nothing going for themselves. Nothing. Nothing. They spending all their time watching you. Exactly. They spending all their time watching you with the outsider and healing. I feel like you may have had a lot of, of healing energy. You have a lot of healing energy and you outcasted this person, like I said, with this outsider. You outcasted this person and now they're looking for, like, they want to charge their battery with your energy. You could have cut this person off from love, sex, affection with this Queen of Cups energy here. Okay, look at this. Let me show y'all something. We got the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles and then we have the lovers. So this individual that you're dealing with could be be a um a water sign or a earth sign or you could be right or even a gemini because we got the lovers here but the thing about this situation is like you're coming up as the queen of cups and he coming up as the as the king of pentacles you give him all his love and affection and he monetizing it <laughs> like i said taking your energy from you you were dealing with a vampire Yeah, this person is, is looking at the different possibilities that you may have available to you in your life, okay? And trying to stop it. Trying to stop it. I feel like, wh who is the source? What is the source? Yeah, the source is, like, they, like, it looked like they trying to attach some sort of negative energy. This person could be, um, known to deal with or not known. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of these people, look, all right, they be practicing magic in the dark and not regular magic, but that, that demonic shit. You hear me? Okay, um, serpent messing with serpents and all different types of uh evil deities. Um, so this person could be known to, to like, I, well, this person could mess with those type of entities and then be sending them to you. Okay, that's their source. Yeah, like I said, sending them to you to try to um deharmonize your energy. Does that make sense? Yeah, basically. It's trying to cloud your awareness so that you trip trip yourself up, so that you uh, go off your square, all right? Because they don't want any possibilities for you. They don't want any opportunities to manifest for you because this person is really, really bitter, okay? Very bitter. And upset at any type of forward movement that you may have going on in life. They especially don't want you to be with nobody else. Yeah. Trying to cloud your judgment in the way you think. Meantime, something is really wrong with them, okay? Their judgment is clouded, but they're trying to cloud your judgment. Exactly. Look what I said with the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or uh, you could be a Sagittarius. But yeah, they're trying to uh, make you mentally sick is what it feel like. They're trying to make you mentally sick. This is a karmic relationship of yours. I feel like this person is constantly triggered when they look at you, okay? When they when they come across whatever they stalking you, however they're stalking you, it's like why you keep stalking a person if they triggering you? Don't don't close your eyes. If you don't want to if you don't want to watch somebody win, close your eyes. Who who is this person? Yeah, this person receives some sort of knowledge about your wheel of fortune because they're watching you. And so they're trying to, like, mess with your patience, give you anxiety, like, do all kind of shit. This may even be a Taurus, or you could be a Taurus. And this is, this is they're using spirituality to be able to do it, though. Okay, what did I say? Something shady with the Hierophant. Something shady. This person could be somebody who's very much into spirituality or getting some sort of spiritual um, leadership. Okay? The devil. The damn devil. Okay, this could be a Leo or you could be a Leo. Yeah. This person is sending energetic impulses to you. To try to make you feel crazy. Uncomfortable within yourself and your own skin. And 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 you know what's you, you know what's the uh <laughs> you know what's the thing that makes you go, hmm. This person is crazy and they're oper they're they're suffering from the same energy that they're sending at you. Ain't that some shit? It's hilarious. Look at that. Something shady. 
the tower. Show me the tower. Show me the tower. Magician. Using chaos magic, confusing, confusion magic with the tower and the magician. Sending chaos and confusion at you constantly. Yeah, trying to steal energy or take away from you, from, from you betray you. This is, what this is what's happening. All because this person is mad and wants revenge. Because you don't want to be with them. What did I say? With the eight of cups, you walked away from their ass. Now they extra salty, stalking you, trying to learn about your, 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 your goings. This person can even be trying to unalive you, okay? We, 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 we know this all the time. And it could be for some money. This could be a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, fucking Sagittarius. Um, this, is a, this is a constant. Um, this is constant, okay? Like, this person is obsessed. We always pick this, pick this person up. Now, the star and abundant legacy. So you, you guys have an abundant legacy. You are destined to see the sun in your life. Okay, you're destined. Some of you guys, you're literally destined to be a superstar. You're destined to be in the public eye. You just have a, a very prosperous destiny. And this person knows that because, like I said, they get some sort of spiritual guidance. Okay, um, it's negative. All right, but they are tapped into what you stand to receive and they want it from you they want to take it from you yeah this person wants to burden you okay burden you so that you don't make it to where it is that you you need to be especially as it pertains to two energies of gemini's here okay so now they're telling me like this person wants you <laughs> this person trying to haunt you okay they want you to feel haunted by them okay You know, um, I was thinking to myself in the bathroom the other day, I said like, um, my life has been so much more peaceful without the people that I had in it, whether it be romantic or otherwise, especially romantic. Right. But anyway, I said to myself like, damn, you know, like. My life has been so much peaceful with so much more peaceful without them, even though they have been throwing everything at me. But the kitchen sink, especially ex uh, ex lover, right? Especially, and it's like I'd rather be fucking haunted. <laughs> I'd rather be spiritually attacked than to be with you, and that's sad. Not for me, but for the other party. You get what I'm saying? If somebody said, stay with this person or go through extreme spiritual warfare, Warf warfare for a thousand, please. Quick. I ain't even got a thing. Give me the warfare. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me all the warfare. Give, give it to me. <laughs> give it to me. Okay? Because I'd rather fight with outside forces than to have somebody in my bed, an inside, insider that I got to fight with. Shit. Warfare me for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> Warfare my ass. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. At least I got a chance to win. Can't win with somebody like that right next to you in your bed, cheering in your energy. Nah, I'm good. Throw everything at me. Give me all you got. <laughs> give me all you got. Fuck that. Mm -mm. Right? Look at that. What did I say with the four cups? Not interested. I am not interested. At all. Okay? This person want to haunt you. You don't want to be with me. I can't share in your legacy. I'm going to take you from it. I'm going to take it from you. Okay, that's how they feel. They want you to be so scared and disinterested and procrastinating from, from, from what it is that you stand to receive and, and, and from, you know, your creative goals or your goals, period. You know what I mean? So you won't get it from your future plans, all right? Whatever you had planned, let me tell you something. The best way, yeah, they want to stop you, okay? They want to hang you, okay? They want to, child. Listen, whatever your goals or your plans is, you guys, go ahead and, and do everything that you can to make them come into fruition because that's how you're going to win the spiritual warfare. That's how you're going to defeat this demon. For some of y'all, this person is... um. 
they think that they're more than what they are. You understand what I'm saying? Like this person is a nuisance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This person is a nuisance. You know, you got like a, a, a fly that just keeps buzzing around your ear and shit like that. You want that, you want that shit going by any means necessary, right? Um, this is what that feel like. It's like, I'm going to be a thorn in your side, but remember you guys and take this, you know, with you while this person is constantly trying to be a thorn in your side, they're not manifesting in their own life. They spend a lot of time watching you, trying to stop you, stalking you, having out of body experiences, astral projecting, all that other shit. We pick that up, doing all of that as it pertains to you. There's nothing going on in their lives. So this shit is, has already backfired. While they're doing it, it is backfiring while they're doing it, okay? They want you to procrastinate. They want you to be disinterested in your goals and so on and so forth. But while they're doing this to you, they're procrastinating in their own life and they're disinterested in their goals because they're too busy focused on you, okay? I hope that helped.